everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make a perfect roasted chicken. So if you've been hanging around, you know that my most common meal that I make is I throw a chicken in the oven with some veggies because it is just so simple. To me, it's almost easier than throwing a pizza or some kind of junk food in the oven because it just takes no time at all. You can get this going if you're a stay-at-home mom in the afternoon during nap so that dinner's ready. You can get it going in the morning for lunch. It's just so simple to make a whole chicken that it takes basically no effort. So I start with a whole chicken about medium size and they always come with some kind of giblet package or something in the middle. You'll just want to remove that and discard or cook whatever your preference is. Then I like to rinse the chicken and then let it get kind of dry. I find that this helps it to get crispier. Now if you have paper towels, you can pat it dry. We almost never have paper towels. So I just kind of hang it like this for a minute over the sink and just kind of let it get as dry as possible. It doesn't affect the outcome. Obviously then you're gonna want to wash your hands really well. Then just drizzle the chicken with two tablespoons of coconut oil. I like to get it everywhere, covering the wings and the legs. This is what gives it the crisp. And of course, if the chicken's cold, which it should be, uh, it'll harden up, but that's totally fine. Now, my favorite things to sprinkle on a roasted chicken are garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and then an Italian seasoning blend. Now you can, of course, put anything on it. It's good with turmeric, cumin, but this is my basic, is the onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and Italian. So I do about a quarter teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. And salt. It should kind of stick to the oil. Just kind of get it everywhere because we like to eat all parts of the chicken. Sprinkle with fresh pepper. And then about a half a teaspoon of the Italian seasoning. The reason I like to use this is because it's a blend. And so you can put, you know, oregano, basil, all the different seasonings on it at one time. I like to use dried. Fresh just kind of wilts up. Now, of course, you can dry them from your own garden and preserve it. Either way, it tastes delicious. And then I pop it into a preheated oven at 425 degrees. It's important that it's already hot when it goes in. This will also help with the crisping process. And then just allow it to bake for an hour. You want when you cut into it for all the meat to be white and there to be clear juices, nothing pink or red. This is my favorite meal pretty much all the time. Usually when the chicken goes in the oven, I'll throw some sweet potatoes in with it or acorn squash or a butternut squash or some kind of orange vegetable. And then on the stove, I'll usually steam or boil some green vegetable like a Brussels sprouts or broccoli. A lot of times I use frozen, unless it's in season, I'll just grab a bag of frozen veggies and cook it. So then we have for our lunch, a roasted chicken, an orange vegetable, a green vegetable, and then I'll usually serve it with sauerkraut or avocado. You can serve it with some homemade sourdough bread like I showed in a recent tutorial. It's a complete meal that basically took no effort. I like to say that it's as easy as throwing a frozen pizza in the oven because it really is. You just throw it in the oven and you can just pick the chicken off the bone, cut the sweet potatoes in half and add some butter and there's no more effort even though you're actually cooking from scratch and you're enjoying healthy, fresh food. So that's why this kind of meal makes it into my rotation so often. I will leave a link in the description below for some other healthy recipe inspiration that I have here on my channel. I have a video that are my tips for healthy meals every night without meal planning. If you've been following along a while, you might know that I don't meal plan. I have a system down that I use to cook healthy meals without having to come up with a rigid plan and grocery shopping list and all of that stuff that just kind of stresses me out and makes life more difficult. I'll leave a link if you wanna check out that video. 
I also have a few videos on what we eat in a week. So I show what we actually make with my non-planning plan. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.